Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am here today to plan for the month of February in my Hobonichi Weeks planner. I am really loving this planner for how versatile and portable it is. Um, this month I am using uh, the February kit from Planner Pixie Co. I'm a little nervous because, I guess it goes this way, I have never used um, a full page kit before and I just realized because it's a full page you can <clears throat> switch the um, orientation of it around which is kind of cool so yeah we'll see how this goes this is as always printed on my um, super aggressive stick paper so hopefully it goes okay I have seen a couple tips on how to do this so let's just hope it goes well. I just want to <clears throat> measure it and see. So, okay. So basically from the very bottom. All right. Let's see how this goes. I may never do it again. <laughs> So what I've been told is that you want to fold this back and sort of fold that up a bit and then you want to line this up well. Stick this down and then pull and stick. Okay, well, it's obviously not completely straight. It's not terrible. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can do it a little bit better with this one. Um, let's see. It's a little terrifying, but I've gotten through. That's going to be crooked as well. Let's see if I can correct it even slightly. Okay. Hey, not bad. <clears throat> And, I mean, I have to admit, it is so much easier than dating everything. Okay. That's super cute. All right. Let me do the side. <clears throat> so, this kit, I didn't actually do a flip through of it. But it's these two pages here. And then it came with two of these. Um, the same, which I suppose you could just print one if you only needed one. But, um, I have a lot to mark down. So, I was quite happy. <clears throat> for all of them. Uh, not tons of deco or script. It's a lot of bills do, which I don't mark in here, but that's okay. So, if you saw my Erin Condren monthly plan with me yesterday, you will have heard my voice like this already. Um, this is actually even better than it was. And uh, like even yesterday, and I feel terrific. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so in this planner, I mark down work deadlines, um, and then anything that would, that I would need to have in here um, to know if I needed to schedule something on the go. So I don't put things like birthdays in here, and that's not um, necessary for this planner. Um, but I do put things in like appointments, or if my daughter doesn't have school. Um, or holidays, things like that. So, <clears throat> um, right off the bat, the 17th is a holiday here. So, I'm going to mark that down. I'm going to use this sort of, I guess it would be a full box, but... Uh, 
Um, I did not mean to stick that down there. Okay. So. So I guess the only strange part about this is that the separation between the days isn't always easy to see, but that's okay. Um. <clears throat> And then I would maybe I'll put a little bow here. Just to go with it. Okay. And then on the 10th, I have a magazine deadline. So let me put that down here. Uh, but I also have. It's okay, I think it'll I think it'll fit. Okay. Do that there. <clears throat> All right, um, those are the two sort of big things. Now I think we can do our day to day. So I'm actually filming this on the 8th, but I am gonna back plan because I like to have a complete month. So on, <clears throat> we have a lot of vet appointments this month for our dog. So I'm gonna use these little ones here to mark those. So we had one on Monday. These are big boxes for a tiny planner. <laughs> we had one on Monday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, I'll just put it there. I don't mind layering it. <clears throat> okay. Then on Tuesdays, <clears throat> excuse me, Tuesdays, my husband works late, so let's put down some boxes. So the other thing that I have to mark on these days is that we have strike days. Our teachers are rotating strikes right now for the kids. Um, we had one on Tuesday, one on Thursday, and one on Friday. So I want to mark those. I would have liked to put a little like, asterisk or something here. There isn't anything like that in this kit. And I'm just trying to think. I don't think. Hold tight. Okay. I grab leftovers from the kit I used in my February monthly in my Erin Condren. Um, these little um, hearts and bows here will work just fine. And I could even cut the, um, like these ones off, which I actually might do because they're kind of oval shaped and I kind of like that. So let's put these aside for now, just over there. Um, so I'm just gonna cut that. It's not perfect, but I don't care. So what did I say? Twos oh, that's still rather big. Okay, 
right back to my, I'm just gonna stick that there, back to my original idea of the little um, hearts and bows. <clears throat> so let's do, I think these would all mostly match. I might have to do a bit of a, like a code. <laughs> Um, this month, like, S for strike, whoops, what's this day? V for vet. Which would be fine. I would know what they meant. work schedule I will put a box to mark that on Tuesday um, and then he also um, he worked late on Friday Valentine's Day. My husband and I are going to have a date night. So I think I'm going to mark that with I'm trying to decide that or this. I'm going to use this one. We actually have no idea what we're doing yet. So it probably means we'll be staying home. <laughs> Okay, and then the only other thing that I think I haven't marked is that on this day, well, technically this morning, I have an MRI in the middle of the night. Because um, <clears throat> they run like 24-7. So, I'm going to mark that. Let's mark that there. But I do want to mark it on Friday night or mark something on Friday night. Um, to remind myself. If these boxes were like half that size, they'd be so perfect. The other thing I usually mark down is that Thursdays and Fridays are heavy, my heavy filming days for my, like for this channel. But I don't think I'm going to um, mark that on here because it's already kind of um, like Thursdays and Fridays are pretty full. Um, although Thursdays are empty. Let's mark them down. But 
here for that so let's see oops Thursday oops Friday I may not because um, I might be getting ready for Valentine's Day depending on what we're doing I don't know I might end up planning something there and there and then the 21st and 28th Okay, that is it for my Omni Two Weeks Planner for the month of February. Um, link to Planner Pixie Co's shop down below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you all again soon. Bye friends.